The British High Commission political councillor Joey Dashley made a maiden visit to the party headquarters of the ruling NRM party in Kampala. Dashley was received by the Secretary General of the NRM party, Richard Odwong. And our commitment in fighting corruption as a party and as a country, which they do appreciate, and they also observe that there is a big challenge with the corruption, not only in Uganda, but in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa. We also discussed mainly about the economy, how do we make the economy work for the ordinary person. The two discussed a number of issues on good governance. How they can work closely with the iPod. iPod is Interparty Coalition for Dialogue. How they can uh, promote dialogue among political parties and how they can support the process of dialogue. However, top on the agenda was the signed anti-homosexuality law and the stringent clauses that are in by President Yuriko Kutam Seven. Of course, we presented our position about the anti-homosexual bill which was passed in parliament. They are very concerned about such issues, but we are also very firm in protecting our values and our norms and in certain areas we don't compromise our values systems. So we openly speak to them about such and uh, they do appreciate and especially when we speak about uh, protection of the juvenile, the protection of children, not exposing children to the dangers of homosexuality. The law prefers a death penalty to whoever caught and proven beyond reasonable doubt of committing homosexuality. It also criminalizes those aiding and abetting the act of homosexuality. However, the law has since generated controversies from the international community including moving sanctions against Uganda, ranging from freezing donor funding to Uganda from some western countries and also putting travel bans on key political and religious figures in Uganda. And uh, the bill seeks to protect our heritage. They do appreciate and, 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 and their concern was that the bill seeks to punish culprits with the death. But we said that has since been... Uh, revised and uh, we don't have death penalty now in the bill. Despite international threats to Uganda, President Museven has maintained his position of not withdrawing the law or returning the law to parliament for amendment, but rather has issued strong warnings to some western countries threatening Uganda to respect Uganda's sovereignty. Robert Nyango, UBC News. Okay. Thank you.